Hi guys! Okay, so it's finally transitioning into like fall, which is amazing. Even though it is still like 90, 100 degrees here midday. Or well, it's like in the high 90s. But in the mornings and in the evenings, it's finally getting like fresh and cool and down to like those 80s or high 70s and it's amazing amazing but i mean midday kind of kind of sucks still but just wait give it about a few weeks two weeks or so it'll be getting fresh, fresh. yes anyways i just wanted to do kind of like a typical fall look i feel like you need to like bust out with a typical fall look every year just you know try new things you know you can do kind of the same look with different products you know I'm pretty sure I did a similar look like this you know and you kind of evolve you you come up with new techniques you you use you know not really new techniques but you know combinations as well as techniques and things of that sort and I'm just rambling now so I hope you guys like this look and if you want to learn how to do it, just keep on watching and I'll show you how. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start off by applying my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Okay, I'm going to start off by applying my Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 13. And then I'm going to be applying this coppery color by the little Sephora Trio in Sunbaked. And I'm grabbing the copper color and just placing that in the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm going to be grabbing this MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow in In the Sun. If you don't have this, you can just use the coppery color all over the lid. And then I'm just going to be placing that on the rest of the lid. And then I forgot, you're going to be placing this Stila Smudge Crayon in the outer corner first. And then just kind of blend it out. Now I'm going to be grabbing the darkest shade in the little trio, the brown, the dark brown. And I'm going to place that in the outer corner. And now using a blending brush, I'm going to dip it into this uh, eyeshadow by MAC. It's in handwritten. It's just like a matte dark brown. And I'm going to use that to blend out the outer corner. And then grabbing that uh, matte color again, I'm just going to be putting that in the lower lash line. Just to smoke it. And I'm going to be applying that um, Stilo Smudge Crayon in Umber on the lower lash line, on the waterline. Now I'm going to line the eyes with my L'Oreal Liquid Linear Intense the Felt Tip Liner. Now I'm just going to curl the lashes. And apply some mascara. Okay, for the cheeks, now I'm going to start by contouring with my Tarte bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And just kind of trying it out, see how I like it. I've had this for the longest time, never used it. Just placing that in the hollows of my cheeks. So far, I've been liking it, though. And since it's fall, it's ideal to wear, like, a plummy blush. It's okay. It's okay. Dark colors are in now. And I'm going to be using this one by Tarte. This is in Blushing Bride. I'm just going to be grabbing a tiny bit of it, though, and placing it, like, right above the bronzer just for like a light tint of color nothing too overwhelming 
There we go. Okay, that's not really a light tint, but it's okay. <laughs> There we go, you guys can see the blush. That's why it's called Blush and Brad. And finally for the lips, we're just going to keep it nice and natural. I'm going to be using this Too Faced lipstick and I still haven't found the name for it. I have the box, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, it's just in the buff, it's one of their new lipsticks. And then I'm going to be topping that off with this Urban Decay Lip Junkie Lip Gloss in Wallflower. Uh. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!